it is about 10 minutes before sunrise and I woke up really late and I'm trying to rush to a potential place where I can get a sunrise picture and I woke up really late because we had a late night start. I didn't really vlog yesterday because um, me and my uncle just hung out for a while and then went out for dinner, you know, just uh, off camera stuff. Anyway, uh, hopefully we'll go make a picture this morning. I am terribly late this morning for getting this shot. All the lights are turning off and the sky is not really going to happen on that, that direction. Really stupid. Really, really stupid start. And I'm walking across the grass. Hopefully since it's a city, there are no snakes or whatever. Yikes. And the sky looks perfect. How's it going? Good. It's a standard size. It's a 7 inch monitor. What a 19 centimeter. <laughs> I got both my cameras working on different stuff. This one's working on my picture, that one's working on my time lapse. So I couldn't talk in front of the camera. But beautiful view. You have the bridge, you have the skyline, you have the opera house. And this place is called Mils Milson's Point. And I didn't really record anything on the way here because, you know, I was in a rush. I'm really, I was really late. The guy that was here before me said that the cruise ship had just parked itself annoyingly right before I pulled in but hey the lights really coming through uh, it was really cloudy earlier there's some light breaking through everywhere and then there's some nice shine on some of the buildings which the lights much better now but I did miss blue hour where I could have gotten some of the city lights which is really unfortunate because that's that's really what I was looking forward to and it looks like city this time is not going to be my greatest achievement but uh it's not all about pictures right so i really enjoyed yesterday and then uh, today has been spectacular too i didn't expect even this much amount of light according to the forecast anyway something tried to bite me anyway uh a few more pictures and uh the magic happening here So there's a very specific reason why I chose this composition. See this nice foreground of flowers right here. And then you have palm tree right here, opera house right there, skyline right there. And then this walkway leads beautifully back to the city. And it really leads your eyes towards the bridge and the rest of the skyline. The opera house isn't the center of this image. It's the entire panorama and moves smoothly towards the other side. It leads you towards the other side. Anyway, um, here's the picture. some really subtle light happening right on the opera house it's gone now obviously I had like less than a millisecond to get it and uh, look at that
Anyway, I think I could show you better in a picture, but um, yeah, the light was streaming through right on the opera house and the edges. I have a polarizer on, an ND filter. It, this image will look beautiful in black and white with the highlights all blown out in certain areas and the blacks and everything. Um, it'll make a really co nice contrast image. And I've been looking for that shot for a while now, except I didn't expect to get it this morning, given that it's been quite cloudy. Um, and the light's been pretty iffy because of how much cloud cover there's been. But um, I did manage to get that shot. Yeah, it's now officially time to head back to the hotel. I was stupidly late this morning and I, I did pay for it because the city lights were already out. By the time I got here, a cruise ship had parked itself in the middle and not the ideal way to do photography. But hey, uh, all about photography is getting out and enjoying the places you are and Sydney is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and I think I got at least one good image of this iconic city. Okay, I am at the ferry station. The light's pretty much done with. It's really cloudy. It's supposed to get better later on today, but I am pretty much done with the best of the light. I'm just waiting on my ferry to the Circular Key. Circular Key is the area over there, and the ferry costs about seven bucks uh, for a single ride, which is very reasonable, considering a taxi costs about 17 Australian dollars. Um, also gives me a chance to take the take a ferry across the across the river. Parramatta River, I think, is what it, this is called. Anyway, beautiful day in Sydney. It's a little cool, but fantastic stuff. I think that might be my ferry pulling up right there. So I think I gotta go. See you on the other side. <laughs> 